to us again? They're persistent, I'll give them that. Still, we gotta keep moving. Uh, they have 14 wheelers. What do you expect us to do, outrun them? I meant the rest of us. We need a plan. No, we need a place to hide. Oh, I like that way better than a plan. No offense, Silver, but if there's one thing I learned from this outing, it's that our sense of stealth is on par with a box of fireworks exploding in a jewelry shop. Hey, if you'd rather stay here and play chicken with those trucks, be my guest. Well, if you guys let me keep my truck, we certainly would have had a chance now, wouldn't we? Leave the truck, they said. We won't have any use for it, they said. Friends, good news. Chaos says there's a suitable place for hiding nearby. It's a secret entrance hidden in the ancient ruins not too far away from here. Maybe we could... Chill there? Great! You guys go look for it while me, Tails, and Knuckles lead the convoy astray. We'll catch up with you when you find it. How does Chaos even know about a secret sanctuary? Uh, is that really a concern right now? I mean, are we sure it's gonna be safe? And more importantly, does it have free Wi-Fi and reclining leather couches? Who cares? Just move it! That was uncalled for! Doesn't this place look familiar? You recognize it too? I thought it was crazy for a moment. Man, you both have way too many run-ins with dark dystopian environments. I promise you both when this is all over, we're gonna take it easy at a nice resort island. so big it can be anywhere. I propose a mass incineration, Silver. Just give me and Blaze the word and we'll have this place reduced to ashes in three minutes flat. Not sure giant plumes of smoke would help us hide from G.O.N., Forge. We'll pass it off as fake news. They're a government organization. Silver to Chip, you guys haven't gotten lost, have you? Hard to say. We've just been following Chaos this whole time. Phew! Slow down! Wait for us, Chaos! Yeah, he's dead set on finding this thing. These ruins look so ancient. Does Sonic know what era these belong to? Well, I was gonna ask him, but Silver warned me it would trigger some past trauma. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hey guys, we bought some time, but they'll be back on our trail soon. Where are we with this secret passage? I don't know, this looks like a dead end. Chaos says the only way to get inside is to induce chaos control, but in order to do it correctly, you will need both of us to guide your chaos energy. How do we know there's even anything on the other side? He is certain of it, we'll just have to trust him. I'd rather we take a shot at this than risk jail time. I'd say we give it a go. The servers are the seven chaos. Chaos is power enriched by the heart. The controller serves to unify the chaos. I ask that you grant us passage into the sacred land and to please give my friends a safe sanctuary. This isn't the part where we hold hands, is it? That was awesome! Heck yeah, let's do that again! 
Let's not. What kind of hidden water park have you been hiding from us, Chaos? Whew, safe at last. I mean, let's be honest, I could have taken on those Geo and doofuses. Well, only if there are helicopters to punch. Really? Does everybody know about that? Are you okay, Tails? Yeah, it's just... I'm really worried about Cosmo. Don't worry. It's not in Eggman's nature to directly harm someone. We'll get her back. How in the world did Eggman even find us so fast? Honestly, I think it should be obvious by now, Silver. Um, I'm not sure what you're getting at, Sonic. What I'm getting at is Eggman clearly said he followed the tracking beacon earlier. And you know what? I've run it through my mind a few times. How else did he find us in Green Hill so quickly, let alone knew exactly where and when to send Infinite to intercept us? I don't know. Plot convenience? No. Connect the dots, guys. What else would Eggman be tracking? What? What? Forge? Oh, come on, Sonic. You can't be serious. How else does he keep finding us, Silver? Even if Forge is from the same dimension as you, his model is still Eggman's, meaning he can track it. What do you think, Tails? I mean, he's not entirely wrong. From what I've studied, Eggman's robots do share a network that synchronizes and helps coordinate them. Do you have any idea what they're talking about, Forge? Uh, I maybe chose not to fix that. It was kind of too complex, even for me. I, uh, I guess I didn't think it'd be a problem at the time. Not a problem? Tails just lost his best friend to Eggman because you thought his own tracking beacon wouldn't be a problem. Now hold on, Sonic. This isn't his fault. He made an honest mistake. The only mistake here was us recruiting a bad Nick. He is not a bad Nick. He is my friend. No offense, Silver, but I've never really known you to be the best judge of character. <laughs> Both of you stop! Look, it's been a really rough day full of chases, gunfires, and several missed meals. I think what everyone needs right now is a big break. I agree. Let us set up camp so we may all cool off and get some rest. Silver, you all go find some firewood while the rest of us look for safe shelter. <sighs> Alright, good idea. Let's head out for- Forge? Forge? Where'd he go? He must have realized he was gonna attract the entire egg fleet or something. <laughs> That is quite enough, you two. Forge hasn't left the area, nor does he need to. This sanctuary is well hidden by a special enchantment. I'll find your friend. What the heck, Sonic? Yeah, I know, I'm sorry, it's just... I've had false friends before. I don't want Silver to go through that. Your friends are worried about you. How'd you get up here? Knuckles isn't the only echidna that could climb, you know. Kinda figured he was the only echidna, period. Anyway, sorry I ran off. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Normally I do just fine under pressure, but not when it comes to guilt. That's when I cave in and have to go somewhere else to collect my thoughts. Please forgive Sonic's bluntness. You must understand. He's been through a great deal of hardships seen too many friends turn on him, whether willingly or not. Oh, he's got a pretty good reason to be upset. I made a bad oversight, and it hurts that I endangered my buddies because of it. Just like before. Before? Sonic had no right to blow up on Forge like that. It's not his fault we were tracked. Silver, may I ask you a question? What is it? What is the significance behind Forge? I mean, no matter what nonsense that robot pulls off, you always seem to have his back. Well, he's more than just a robot, Blaze. It's clearly the case with you, Forge. In fact, it's almost as if you weren't always like this. You have too much soul to be just another one of Eggman's pawns. Well, it's funny you mention that, Princess. He was once a Mobian? Just like us? Well, he did mention something like that, but I thought it was just another one of his silly jokes. Nope, he was organic, just like you and I. In fact, back in my ruined timeline, he was one of the very few Resistance members I teamed up with before I met you. Back then, he was known as Cobalt the Blackbird. Pretty much the same witty forge you and I know, just not an android. Cobalt had a talent for handling dire situations. If his endless optimism didn't make things better, then his expert problem solving definitely did. He may have lacked special abilities, but he found ways to make up for it and became a very helpful teammate. 
There is no way he could have thought I was helpful back then. I was a weak, frail little bird who didn't do well in volcanic environments, always holding him back from saving people. I always wish I could have done more, but my health just got worse and worse. I'm so sorry. That must have been painful. Eh, not as painful as feeling like dead weight. He never said anything, but I know he felt like I was holding him back. He thinks he was always holding me back, but he's wrong. Even if some of his tactics were a little... out there, he still saw them through with a crazy amount of confidence. The kind you'd never see from me, especially from back then. Really, the only thing that held him back was his prolonged exposure to the volcanic atmosphere. My powers and your fire help protect us in such an environment, but he was just a normal guy. It goes without saying that didn't stop him, though. Nope, I wasn't about to give up. I was determined to make myself more useful. Before my untimely demise, I spent several nights developing a very complicated and very intricate process. A digitized version of my own consciousness. And I planned to port it into a salvaged but well-restored Metal Sonic 3.0 model. The good news, I was 98% positive it was going to work without a hitch. But the bad news, I did not take into account that my computer runs on a potato and it would take several months to upload. Whoops. So you were able to save your intellect, but also gain a stronger, more powerful body. That is brilliant. It really was. Not too long after we defeated Solaris and restored the timelines, here this random Metal Sonic shows up calling himself Forge. And there was no doubt in my mind that it was him. Only he would be able to pull off something so insane. Once he showed up, he pretty much instantly recognized the situation I was in. Where I basically lost all hope in ever finding you again, he became persistent that there was still a chance, and insisted on helping me out. Whether he's Kobol or Forge, his optimism never failed me. So to answer your question on why I stand up for him, it's because he stood up for me. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have the hope to go look for you. And if I didn't look for you... Then Mephilus would have found me and gotten away with his scheme. Ah, <sighs> you're right. Perhaps I have misjudged him. Even if he has his moments, he definitely has more soul than any other robot I've ever seen. I just hope Sonic can see that. Don't worry, Forge. Once everyone has rested and wake up with fresher minds, I'm certain we'll figure something out. I hope so. The whole reason I went through all these lengths was to be less of a hindrance. I'd do anything to make sure my buddies are safe. Doctor, we've completed our analysis of the captured subject. Oh, please, just call her by her name. We're not GON thugs. Uh, sorry, uh, he met Cosmo. Uh, anyway, your team did the test, and guess what? It turns out you were right about that little red gem of hers! Just as you predicted, her gem is indeed a very complex collection of Matrix designs, almost like a flash drive of some sort. It should be more than enough to finalize the energy modifications for Project M506. In addition, the straight planet egg you recovered from space should still be a sufficient power source. Ah, that's good. Very good indeed. I'm glad that for once we can operate without a single- There is some bad news. There it is. A quick scan has indicated that Cosmo's DNA will in fact be compatible with your machine, but due to the unstable nature of the planet egg, it is doubtful she'll survive for more than 30 seconds. What? That was the sound of a torture. Are you joking? How am I supposed to finish off Sonic in less than 30 seconds? I mean, he could win a fight in that time, but I can't! Well, sir, she's just a girl, and with such a large machine, that much power could put quite the strain on her body. Ugh, of all the nuisances! Well, I don't want to kill her, otherwise Sonic and his buddies are gonna swear revenge on me. We'll figure something out that's less dark. I may be evil, but even I know what's considered going too far. You sure do, boss! Hmm. Yep, it's official. Your eyes are more of a gold color than mine. No way! Yours are definitely closer to gold. <laughs> nope, not the case. Sorry, Blaze. <sighs> <sighs> Anyone send Grandma's to attack us! Ugh, 
what the heck is he going on about? Chip, buddy, relax. They're totally harmless. How is a face like that totally harmless? Hold on a second. What's a chow doing out here? Usually one won't stray too far from a group. Uh, guys, does this count as a group? Whoa, this valley was a chow garden all along! Good morning, friends! Thanks to chaos, we were able to rally these chow together and prepare a nice breakfast for you all! Hi! Hey, thanks, little guys! Yum! Fruit! Nutritious breakfast for the win! Mm, this is like a reverse chow garden, where they're pampering us instead! <laughs> chaos was overjoyed of how well this planet takes care of the chow, so this is the least we can do! Huh! That explains how Chaos knew how to find this place. You are quite the adorable little helpers, aren't you? Okay, guys, this is nice and everything, but seeing how we still have a tracking beam- Magically hidden sanctuary. sanctuary! Right, yeah, I got that. But what are we gonna do when we leave the sanctuary? He's got a point. If we're going after the Egg Fleet, we won't last a second if we can spot Forge. Well, I have a strange feeling a solution will present itself soon. Witness this. Silver's precognition abilities. That doesn't sound very solution-like. Well, beggars can't be choosers. Let's go. I thought you said Eggman couldn't find us in here. Whoa, hold on a second, Sugar Hug. Bunny? Whoa, long time no see. No kidding, good to see you again. Likewise, my main pals. And I see you made lots of new friends as well. Where have you been lately? Oh, you know, around. Recently got a chaperoning job, so keep him busy. Chaperoning job? Is that what's causing explosions? Oh yeah, sorry about that. It's more of a performance evaluation I'm doing for three reprogrammed badniks. Badniks? Relax, they won't get out of control in any way. That's why I'm here. Robot to have robot trust. And who exactly are these badniks? Please, sugar. The new term is radniks. Come on, I'll introduce y'all to them. Debbie and Bob, an inseparable duo whose names pretty much imply exactly what that is. One uses his incredible weight to his advantage, while the other explodes. Although they both have their drawbacks, but together they are one powerful robot. Next is Merle, a state-of-the-art fighting robot. Merle has the ability to flawlessly copy other people's abilities and find sound. No, he can only do one style at a time. Merle is still quite a force to be reckoned with. Wait, so if Heavy and Bomb count as one, who's the third robot? Patient, sugar. He's on his way. E-102 Gamma. Aside from Omega, he's the last of Eggman's E-Series, a line of highly advanced combat robots. Designed to be extremely adapted to various situations. In short, you're looking at one of the smartest robots ever created by Eggman, second only to Metal Sonic. Unnecessary overkill on cardboard cutouts complete. Team Ratnik awaiting further instructions, Director Rabot. Oh, I love it when they call me that. Well, you've got quite the impressive lineup, buddy. I don't suppose you're familiar with the fact that Eggman tracks every single one of those bad nicks, are you? Way ahead of you, sugar hog. Aside from most of their memory and battle techniques, my clients guarantee that any and all Eggman-related data has been completely wiped. We're doers are good now. No longer are we pawns of mindless violence. Speak for yourself. What you talking about? This ain't violence. <laughs> hey, you're fine. Whoa, whoever your client is must be a really good technician. Is there any chance we could pay them a visit? We have someone with us who could really use their help. We fear Eggman has been using our friend to track us. Metal Sonic 3.0, huh? Very state of the art right there. You got good taste. Thank you, ma'am. Now let go, please. I'm sure my client can help you. You can find their workshop just east of here. 
It's a repurposed sky facility, just above the mountains. I'll send my team to make sure you get there safe and sound. Thanks, Bonnie. We shall fulfill a piggy director. Uh-uh, not so fast. Y'all help clean up this mess first. Hey, don't look at me. I just throw the guy. Chip, can I ask you a favor? Yeah, what's up, Sonic? I need you to stay here in the Chow Garden with Takan Chaos. With Cosmo captured, we can't risk Mephila's finding another vessel, and this is probably the safest place for Takal. So hang around in a hidden paradise packed with tons of food? I have absolutely no problem with that. That's what I figured. But you and Chaos keep a sharp eye on Takal, you hear? You got it, Sonic. Everyone else is about ready, just waiting on Bunny's team. Are you sure about this? I mean, we don't even know who these workshop people are. Well, it's either visit the mysterious sky technicians or be stuck with a bad dick. <sighs> don't give me that, Silver. I'm just trying to look out for everyone, you know? I understand you trust Forge, but I've only trusted a lot of people too. Nowadays, I just try to be cautious. I understand, Sonic. I know I tend to be too trusting of others sometimes, but Forge has always been a good friend of mine. Well, one thing's for sure. I can definitely trust Bunny, so maybe those guys will be able to help us. Oh no. Hey, Bunny says her team is all set, so uh, we should get going. All right, let's head over. Whoa, hold on. How did Eggman find us already? Don't worry yourself, Chuckles. They're not Eggman. They're just freaking train bots. Show them what you made up, boys. Affirmative. Team Rackman. Execute Pattern Beta Find the Eggman. Forms, Emerald, Heavy, and Bomb are operating at 50% more accuracy than last session. Did they hear good too? Here. You seem to be doing well yourself, Gamma. Yeah, just serious. Uh, when do we get the lock-on mechanic, huh? It's your fighting train, not mine. Emerald's power uses observed for melee attacks and data calculations rather than audio. Wow, that was the most technological shut up I'd ever heard. That was surprisingly easy. Okay, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm deeply concerned of how little he's talking right now. I know, he's just in a bad spot right now. Just give him a little space till we get him fixed. Training course complete. No complications outside of Emerald. Almost copy Bomb's ability. Good job, guys. Y'all knocked it out of the park this time around. So where's this boss of yours, anyway? Oh, there he is. Oh, no. Well, well. Good to have you back in our humble shop, Bunny. You've got to be kidding me. Her clients are the Babylon rogues? Now, I must ask. Why the heck did you trust our security bots? AGAIN?! Wait, so those weren't training bots? Ah, uh, come on, Jet. You know they need a real challenge. And those egg bonds are a dime a dozen anyways. Look, we hired you on you to train these guys in helping our security bots, not blowing them up. Sugar, you worry too much. Don't sugar me, lady. We gave you this job and we can take it away. 
so don't even think about trying to woo me. This guy hasn't changed a bit. Hey, Sonic, it's been a while, buddy. What to the big crew? You need emotional support for your second-rate hoverboard skills? I don't know. You need this flying scrap pile as a bootleg Babylon garden? Oh. You know, I don't need a hoverboard to beat you to a pulp. If you two can just put your petty rivalry aside for a second, we need your help, Jet. We hear you guys know a thing or two about disabling trackers and Eggman robots. Well, as much as I love to take credit for something that sounds awfully important, that might be more Wave's expertise. Come on in, I'll take your tour. So, hold on a sec. You guys actually run this huge station? We sure do! It used to be some sort of abandoned Eggman outpost. Then we found it and refed the whole thing for our own business. How does this thing even stay in midair? Heck if I know. Wave said it was some sort of self-sustaining energy or something. I never kept up with her techno battle. Ugh! What the- Ugh! Uh, it's, it's you again! again. Watch your tail bumping into me, dreadlocks! Not my fault you can't see beyond that stupid beak of yours. Hey, come on, you two. We don't have the kind of time for this. Who started it? Just back down, Storm. And don't further notice, they're our customers. Aw, but boss, you always let me punch all our customers. That was different. Now do as I say. Get down here! Okay, just give me a sec. Ow! Jeez! Stay in there, you piece of- Okay, I'm here. What do you want? Oh. Uh, hey, everyone. Why didn't you tell me we had guests? And why'd you bring them down here? We have a waiting room, you know. Well, they wouldn't exactly be waiting if we have zero customers. Ow! <sighs> Either way, welcome to Babylon Salvage and Repair, where we serve all your hoverboard needs. Whoa, so you actually opened up your own extreme gear shop? That's so cool! Awfully big change in direction, too. Yeah, it's true, Pete. This has been the way of the Babylonians for centuries, but when times change, we got adapt. After the big war ended, we decided to start a legitimate business, which is beneficial to us and customers alike. Even though we're still stealing parts for our stock. Salvaging, Jet. There's a difference. Yeah, huh? So, uh, what do you guys need again? Hmm, I see. Well, this may be tricky. Metal Sonic models are crazy advanced as they are. Jir guy here has his own modified AI. Disabling the tracker would be a very intricate process. I figured that out myself, Professor. So, can you do it? Shh, please! If I can help that overly complicated gizoid over there, then I definitely have to know how to help this guy. Technically speaking, you only finish him because of online tutorial videos. Oh, shut up, Tin Pan! Wait. They have tutorials for us? Why yes, they even had one for you! But I got taken down like really fast! Anyways, I will tell you right now that this is one of my premium services. So, fixing your friend is gonna cost you quite a few rings. Why is everyone looking at me? Oh, I get it. You think just because I'm the speedster, I'm the one with the most rings? Well, even if I did have a lot, you can't just make me fork the most. <laughs> 600 rings right here. Good for a down payment, but I expect the full 1,000 right off the bat. A thousand? That's ridiculous. How about 650? 800. 700. 750 and kiss your deal goodbye. Done. He's been sitting there for a few hours. Is he ever gonna figure it out? I'm not sure. One dog puts this much time into something, it's bound to be big. Haha, <laughs> I got it. Here's the deal. If we integrate a Chaos Emerald into the project, we should be able to use its power to energize Cosmo, effectively stabilizing the Planet Egg power surge from our new machine and providing a bit of a power buff. Why? Hmm? Why are you doing this, Eggman? You and Sonic were allies once. Now, now, I still can't give away the surprise. But yes, it's true I did work with Sonic and his friends on one... More than one occasion, but I'm afraid times change, Cosmo. Yes, it is a bit of a bother that I have to use you as a guinea pig, but fear not, my dear. You'll be safe. Mostly safe. Just, just put that away. Yeah. Now! 
Seeing as how we're currently emeraldless, perhaps Sonic and his friends would be oh so charitable enough to um, donate one to us. Cubot, how's that tracker doing? Funny you should ask, Doctor. It just started flickering on our screen. Signal appears to be weakening, almost like someone is trying to disable it. Looks like Sonic and his friends were a little too late in their discovery. Oh, are we going to send Infinite to attack him, Doc? No, he needs to regain his phantom energy. I have a better idea. Team Metal, you have a mission. Raid the facility that Sonic and his friends are at and retrieve any Chaos Emeralds you may find, use any means necessary, and don't return without an Emerald. Is that clear? Why is that silly looking doll on Team Metal? I don't think I like that one. Wow, that somehow explains a lot about his character. Who would have thought a guy like Forge could create a digital version of his own consciousness? That's more advanced than anything I've ever made! Well, it was a long shot on his part, and it took him years of research to even get to that point. Sounds really complicated. For sure! Almost makes extreme gear technology look like a great school science project. <laughs> I'm going to ignore that incredibly offensive statement coming from our own leader and tell you guys that I've made progress. So what's the update? Well, Forge does indeed have a tracker installed. Fortunately, it's no more difficult to remove than any other badnik. However, with this unique AI, it may take some time for my machine to safely remove it without corrupting its program. The process is very important and can't have any interrupt- Like clockwork. Gee, it's Black Friday already? No! Eggman forces! We got four signatures closing in from all sides! What are you two waiting for? Send our guard boss to stop them! Yeah, about that. Oh, you didn't. Well, technically they did. Yep, I'm the scapegoat again. Great! Just great! Our only defense against Eggman! Looks like it's on us now. If Eggman's robots cause damage, we'll get knocked out of the sky. Blaze, aren't you coming? Forge will need protection. I'll stay here. We both will. You go help him out, Silver. Thanks, both of you. Alright, Wave, you know the station best. What's the potential damage? Okay, so there are only four stabilizers keeping this thing afloat. If even one goes out, it'll be catastrophic for us all. Alright, people! Let's split into groups and fend off Eggman's bots! Tails, Knuckles, Bunny, you take the east side. Radnix, you take the west. Silver, you take north. And we'll go south. This is weird. The South Stabilizer has the weakest enemy signature. Nice! That means it's gonna be the easiest! Let's beat up this loser and move on with our lives! Oh, I hate this! Something's not right. What do you mean? Why would Eggman send our robots if he just wanted to destroy the station? You'd think he could blow us out of the sky with his fleet. Hey, you're right. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he was setting up a- Look out! Yep, a diversion. <laughs> Oh, 
Last I checked, I'm the one you're supposed to pick on, Buckethead. Pick on someone your own make and model.